hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees, The Walking Dead, season one, episode five. So this is like the penultimate episode of this season, right? And last episode, <laughs> drama. I mean, everybody died. I mean, I'm not that naive to have believed that I would have gone through this whole show without people dying. But I didn't know it was going to happen so randomly and so many of them at once. But now that I know what I've got myself into, I am prepared. Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage that we're about to see does not belong to me, it belongs to AMC. And just a reminder that you can find this episode in its entirety, uncut, unedited and uncensored over on my Patreon. But, without further ado, episode 5, Lights, Camera, Pew, Action! Maybe you're listening right now. I hope so. I found others. My family. If you can believe it. Oh yeah, he's trying to get a hold of that black man and his son, isn't it? The one that they met in his house. Something else you need to know. Atlanta isn't what we thought. It's not what they promised the city is. Yeah, do not come do here. Do not enter the city. It belongs to the dead now. I don't come join their tribe either, because half that tribe belongs to the dead too. She's gone. You gotta let us take her. Where? Into the graves that Tim Jim dug? She is dazed, grief-stricken, in shock. And I don't blame you, girl. She ain't even my sister. I ain't even there. And I'm all of those things. Andrea. <gasps> I know how the safety works. Oh. <laughs> She's like, let me grieve in motherfucking peace. Stop interrupting my sadness, please. Yeah, you do not want to fuck with her at the moment or test her because she is highly strong. This whole killing of the characters, it does make me nervous to grow attached to um, some of these people, you know. I'm like, I don't want to give you my heart. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? This is for geeks. Our people go over there. It's a death it's wrong. Our people go in that row over there. We don't burn them! We bury them. Well, yeah. There's a load of graves at the top of the hill that are, like, ready for them. And they listen to him. I love that. Go on, Glenn. Use your authoritative voice. Are you bleeding? I just got some on me from the bodies. That looks fresh. Were you bit? No. Got scratched during the attack. You got bit? Oh no, we got bit. I was gonna say, we need to provide this man with a crystal ball because he seems to have some kind of skill that we can utilize. A walker got it. A walker bit Jim. Oh, babes. I didn't even need to learn your name in the end because you ain't gonna survive to the end of this season, obviously. What was I saying about just growing a catch of character? I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, he's I'm not okay. okay. Oh, I'm okay. that is definitely a munch mark, mate. I'm okay. Oh, no. I'm okay. I'm okay. I said we put a pickaxe in his head and a dead girl's gonna be done with it. Is that what you'd want if it were you? Yeah, and I'd thank you while you did it. I hate to say that it, whole... I never thought I would, but maybe Daryl's right. I, I was just about to say, I kind of agree with you. How long does it take from bite to infection to fully-fledged walker? What is the time scale of that shit? Do we have time to save him? You go looking for aspirin. Do what you need to do. So when he's out some balls and take care of the <laughs> hey, hey, hey! We don't kill the living. <sighs> just let them decay on their own so they can try and kill us. This is her birthday. Oh yeah, cheers for reminds of me. I'm trying to fight back the tears anyway. Oh, that scared the life out of me. I thought she was getting resurrected for a second.
Oh, why did you have to be so fucking graphic about it? I was going to say, that's probably kind of comforting in a really subconscious kind of way because he battered her for a long time. Oh, and now she's getting revenge. All right, love. He's gone. All jokes aside, though, it is pretty sad. Not necessarily he's left, but just, you know, these people grieving for their loved ones. Oh, bitch, I can hear her breathing. You need to stab her in the face right this second on his face. Sorry, Amy, you gotta go. Bye, bitch. Oh, Andrea, you need to step away or else you'll be joining your sister to the grave before you know it. Happy birthday, bitch. What the fuck would you do if you were to witness this in real life? A dead, just not being dead anymore. And not only that, but they wake up with some kind of hunger for your face. Amy. No, not Amy. Yeah, say your apologies, wish your happy birthday, pop over the head with a bullet. Is there no one around to notice this happening? Yeah, quickly, hurry up. No time to spare. Get your guns. I love you. Oh, shit, the bear, she did it herself. Oh, She was just waiting for her to come back so she could say her goodbyes properly. That's fucking sad. Okay, now let her get buried, and I would say move on, but it's literally been 12 hours. But yeah, bury her, and move on, yeah, sorry. I'm thinking if you'd have stayed here, if you'd have looked after your own, instead you went off, you took half our manpower with you. I'm thinking maybe our losses wouldn't have been so bad. We haven't had one minute to hold on to anything of our old selves. We need time to mourn, and we need to bury our dead what people do. Agreed. You need to keep some kind of sense of normality in this fucked up world. You save a grave for me? Nobody wants that. It's not about what you want. I've just clocked he dug his own grave, literally. I need you to help talk some sense in the rig. Look, the CDC thing. Lori, it's a mistake. So you're back him. What else would I do? He's my husband. I was about to say that. Yes. Folks around here can make up their minds without bringing my marriage into it. It's a habit you need to break. I guess I'll just add to the list of habits that I'm breaking. Whether I like it or not. What habits? That I was shagging your wife. Why can't you back me up? Look, I want to, it's just, I don't see it. Uh, if it was your family, you'd feel differently. What'd you say to me? Oh, I knew that was gonna be a bit of a trigger. You're just hearing it wrong. Yeah? Look, you, you know, you know I can never repay that debt, okay? kick off once it comes out and I just know it's gonna come out because these shit things like this don't stay hidden for long that's why I would have had to tell my wife no that's why as the wife I would have had to tell Rick just immediately get it out of the way so you're not stressing over it and hiding it the whole time go listen babes I thought you were dead so I fucked your best friend okay but now you're back I promise I won't do it again Yes, thou saw it. He's like, what the fuck do you think you're doing, bitch? Mmm, hazard. Ugh, we gotta keep an eye on this Shane, for sure. What do you think it would have happened after you'd done it? I wouldn't even explain that away. Oh, I love that Dow saw it, though. I love that. He does not look impressed at all. Come on, Dow. Those of you that agree, we leave first thing in the morning. Okay. I don't even know why I'm laughing. It's just about 
how it is fans but it's like if I just killed Rick it would be so much easier. <laughs> Any questions? We're uh we're not going. What? We have family in Birmingham. We want to be with our people. Oh shit. Okay, bye guys. I hardly knew ya. So pretty much, <clears throat> there's like only a half the tribe left that I was introduced to in the beginning. Half of them are dead, and some of them are not gonna come with them on this new excursion. And we're also kind of still looking for Morgan and his son, and Mel. We'll be back on the road soon. Oh no, Christ. My bones, my bones are like glass, every little bump, God. This ride's killing me. It's not the ride that's killing you, Mama. It is the bike. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Just leave me. Oh, no. I don't want to just leave you. I want to be with my family. Oh. Leave me here. Now that's on me. Okay. My decision. Not your failure. Wait, so he wants to be left there and not killed. So he wants to, well, he doesn't have, he doesn't really want it, but out of the choices he has, he wants to just become a walker and live in the woods and hopefully feast on any humans that might be around. Just close your eyes, sweetie. Don't worry. Walkers know how to use guns. What if he transforms and he becomes armed and dangerous? You see one of those walkers running around with a gun going, Come at me, bitch! I will eat you and shoot you. I'm a real dangerous walker, I am. So many goodbyes in this show, isn't there? Jenner here. It's day 194 since wildfire was declared. And 63 days since the disease abruptly went global. I'm feeling very off kilter these days. Random intermission. Who are you? What are you talking about? And how do we go about finding you? Okay, my man's obviously some kind of scientist. Is he with the CDC? I hope so. <gasps> what have you done, you fucking idiot? All personnel clear. Full decontamination in effect. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening here. He was introduced, and then he was nearly burnt, and then his old station blew up, all like within one minute. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I know, right? Who are you? I bet there isn't a single son of a bitch out there still listening, is there? I'm listening, but answer my questions. Who are you? Are we and my tribe about to cross paths with you? Or else why the fuck will you be introduced to me like this? But like, isn't he underground or something? How are we gonna find a man? Tomorrow underground? I'm gonna blow my brains out. Oh, I would be like that. I'm so sorry. I get so bored so easily. And if I was on my own forever and ever and ever, working on something that's no anvil, no success, ugh. Oh, I'm, just, I'm not even long for this world. What's the point of living? There is no world left. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that stinks so bad. 
Oh, the CDC. Oh, they've made it. Okay. I don't know, know exactly what you intend to find. But maybe these bitches were also looking for it. And they all failed, obviously. And what's stopping any of these guys getting resurrected and eating them? <gasps> Are we about to cross paths sooner rather than later? <gasps> okay. Yes. We'll think of something. Come on, let's go. Let's go, please. Open the door. Yes. Someone's in there operating some kind of shit. Down. Come on, just no, just go away. No, don't just go away. Open the door. I know you're in there. I know you can hear me. Please, we're desperate. Please help us. We have women, children, no food, hardly any gas left. Yeah, and that scientist looks like he can use the company, to be fair. But then again, if someone was at my door acting that over egg, I wouldn't want to open the door to him either. I'm like, calm the fuck down first and foremost. It's time for a party! Okay guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. So, we started this episode off the way we ended the previous episode, which is um, everyone grieving for the crazy events that had just happened and the people that had died in the events. Andrea is over Amy's body because it is her sister's birthday and she promised that she was going to spend a day with her sister on her birthday at least once in their life. Even though Amy was kind of checked out. But then she weren't checked out because she came back and Andrea was like, I love you, I'm so sorry, and then she killed her. Which unfortunately needed to be done. What we didn't realise in the previous episode that came to light in this episode was Tim Jim also got bitten. So this episode kind of tracked his progress. Progress? Well, the opposite of progress, really. Watched him decay to the point where he asked us to be left behind while everyone else went to go to the CDC to find out if there's any kind of cure, if there's any people that can help, and if there's any information that they can gain. Because that is what Rick's decided him and the rest of the tribe should do. Shane did not appreciate this idea at all. And there was even a fleeting moment when they were out in the woods that Shane contemplated just popping a bullet into Rick's skull. Um, which obviously is not a good sign at all. And um, luckily they all saw it. So I wonder what he's going to do with that information. Anyway, they're all travelling to the CDC. Um... In the meantime, we are introduced to this new character who is living underground, on his own, doing scientific experiments on the flesh of the walkers in hopes to obviously try and do some research and get some understanding and hopefully develop some kind of antidote. But then his experiments fucked up and he was ready to call it a day on life. It was like, tomorrow morning I'm just going to put my bullet in my brain because what is the point? Um, but before the morning even came, he was gr greeted by the visitors of my tribe because Rick and the others made it to the CDC. And after a long contemplating moment of umming and ahhing, the mad scientist guy decided he's going to let him in. And the episode ended with him opening the doors. Which is going to take us on to the season finale. Do I think they're going to get in there, put their heads together and find a cure and save the day? Hmm, ten other seasons tell me that's probably not going to happen. And I feel like I'm way too early in this adventure to start assuming what's going to happen next and trying to predict what's going to happen next. Because I ain't going to be right. So I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the ride. Even if there are times that I want to get off. And I hope it's not just the novelty and the newness of this that has me pumped to sit down and watch these episodes as they play out. Um, because that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm well excited to get into this. I just hope it lasts. Um, I'm sure it will. I'm sure the season one finale, which is next, is going to keep me hooked and make me want to come back for season two. I hope these videos are performing well enough for you guys and you are entertained because that keeps me motivated to sit down and watch these. And I hope everyone makes it out in the end alive. But 
I'm not quite as deluded as that. Naive and optimistic? Yes. Deluded? Not so much. But yes, if you want to be with me while we continue on watching The Walking Dead, and you haven't done so already, then feel free to hit the subscribe button, because we've got a hell of a lot more videos coming up. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. And down in the comment section, I want to know what has been your saddest goodbye so far. I mean, I feel bad for Andrea. I do, because Esther is dead. And she had to shoot her herself. But I do think I learned a little bit more about Rick. No, not Rick. Jim Tim. I learned a little bit more about him, so having him be left behind, per his own request, um, that's probably my saddest goodbye so far. But I want to know what yours is, so drop it down in the comment section. And until the season finale, stay safe out there.